Welcome into the DNVR Avs Weekly Breakdown presented by Green Mountain Dental Group. Taking care of your teeth is so important. And our friends over at Green Mountain Dental Group are giving away a free Sonicare when you schedule a cleaning x-ray and exam. That's right, you simply have to just take care of your teeth for Green Mountain Dental Group to hand over a free Sonicare toothbrush. Check them out today online or call them at 303-988-0711 to schedule your appointment today. I'm Allie Monroy and with me today is the one and only Bruto. You've already done that one. I feel like that's the appropriate one, though, because that's what the Avs need to be doing right now is multitasking. Especially with all of these injuries, we're just going to jump right in. Four players out. Miko Rantanen being the latest. Kadri, Calvert, Grubauer. Yep. Of course, Colin Wilson has been out for... A year, yeah, three one, years now. <laughs> people barely even remember he's on the team at this Drew point. Drew Griesman literally on the Denver Sports Podcast yesterday goes, I don't think I've ever watched him play. I'm like, <laughs> you you did at the very beginning. At the very, very start. Very beginning. He's like, I don't, what's his number? <laughs> uh, 22, I believe. <laughs> hard for you you me to remember, <laughs> yeah. You, you should remember that one. Yeah, probably good that I remember <laughs> it, but... Uh, yeah, it's it's just the way things have gone. Uh, you know, they had them at the start of the season, and they've come back around. Thankfully, most of them, it sounds like good news on in the regards that they're shorter timelines than we originally expected. So, hopefully, all of them will be back before the end of the season. But the next month or so, the Avs uh, are just gonna have to find a way. So we've got several weeks for Kadri, um, Rantanen, yep. and Calvert. But have we heard anything official on Grubauer's injury? Uh, there's nothing official as far as the timeline goes, but from everything I've heard, it sounds like they're pretty positive on him getting back in a fairly timely manner. Um, I don't think there'll be too much going on there. Originally, there was some talks about the Avs potentially looking at going out and acquiring a yep. goaltender. That seems to have cooled off at this point, and, and I think Grubauer is... You know, we don't know for sure, but seems like he will be back soon enough that it's not that big of a concern. We'll go into trade deadline talks in a bit, but yep. Frankie has been in net for the Avs, yep. and he didn't look so good against the Tampa Bay Lightning when they lost 4-3. They were able to come back thanks to a great goal from uh, Nathan McKinnon and then a great assist and goal from uh, Kale McCarr and Val Nachushkin. What have you thought of Frankie's performance so far? Uh, you know, I, I never hate to knock a player, but I've been saying Grubauer's the starter for months. You have on this, on this desk you have. This is exactly why. Uh, Frankie's a good backup. I think he's one of the better backups in the NHL. He's not a starter. You face a quality team like Tampa Bay, he's going to give up a soft goal or two. The Avs are a very good team to score back on Tampa Bay and get that game to overtime, but... With Frankie, that's just something you have to live with. It's the reality of the situation until Grubauer gets back. And thankfully, the Avs do have a pretty easy schedule from here on out. Speaking of goalies, the Avs take on the New York Islanders tonight. And Varley will be in net for the Islanders you before we recorded this video you said <laughs> yeah. that it's a guaranteed good game for Varley because that's been a theme for the Avs. Are you still still sticking to that? Yeah, the XAV curse seems very real. Uh, even someone like Cameron Gauntz in the Tampa Bay game picked up a point. If you don't know who Cameron Gauntz is, he did play for the Avs once upon a time <laughs> for a couple of games. So every single XAV in the league seems to be getting their points on them. For goalies, might mean a shutout, but hey, every time I say the Avs win on this show, they lose. So maybe flip it around on this one. So I'll call it a shutout for Varley. All right, well, we have a watch party on Saturday at the Blake Street Tavern for the Avs Kings game. I'm not going to ask you if they're going to win or okay. lose. We've already established I'm never asking you that question <laughs> yeah, again. Right. We do believe it will be some sort of revenge for the Avs after the stadium series game. What are a few things you'll be watching for in that matchup? Uh, well, yeah, when it is indoors, you're hoping for a whole <laughs> lot more skill to shine through for the Avs in general on the ice, and, you know, the game won't be kind of a disaster, but 
You can listen to more of that on the Denver Sports Podcast, yeah. or I assume recommend. on your podcast. You check out AJ's rants about it anywhere and everywhere that he has put them. <laughs> so, for the Avs, with the injuries they have, it's time for Gabe Landeskog to be the captain. He's starting to pick up his offensive game a little bit. We saw it against Tampa. He picked up two assists. He's got to start producing points in every way, shape, and form until Rantanen and Kadri get back because the abs are just running thin. They need it. Well, speaking of AJ once again, he s- told us on the Denver Sports Podcast that no need to worry because Nathan McKinnon and Kale McCarr are going to lift this team up. No need to worry about the injuries. They're fine. How do you f- – he was so just – uh, Brendan, Drew, they were like, are you, are you, are you being serious right now? He's like, life, life happens. It's good. They're fine. They're fine. I believe that they're fine, as is, from where they stand, they can make the playoffs. Even with the injuries, not worried about that. And this team, when they get healthy, when they get into those playoffs, they can beat anyone. So from that standpoint, they are 100% fine. Will they have home ice in the playoffs? Boy, I don't know anymore. That's... That's the concern, is that they're not going to play games in the Pepsi Center at home and have that advantage. Well, the NHL trade deadline is upon us. It is. The Avs haven't made any moves yet, but you said last week you are expecting them to at least do something. Yeah. What do you think that will be? Uh, I think they're still in the market for a forward. Like I said, they looked at a goalie and kind of moved away from it. Their defense is honestly pretty set. In fact, if anything, they might be moving a defenseman out with all of the defensemen they have right now. Who do you think that would be? It's probably Zadorov. Oh, Big Z. It's it's just the reality. He's the most expendable player on the blue line right now. Um, and you never know. Maybe Cole shows up or Ryan Graves shows up. Who knows? And, and someone really wants him. But they're going to be moved for a forward, very likely, if they get moved. They already were in the market for one before these injuries, and now even more so. Get another body that can play in the top six and fill in for Kadri, at least pseudo fill in on the wing if that's what they want to do. Specifics, I mean, who knows at this point. The laundry list of players out there is pretty long so far, so expect something on the forward side. Just don't know what yet. Have there been any moves from other teams in the Western Conference that would be big to affect the Avs? Uh, the only significant move for teams in the Central, anyway, is St. Louis picked up Marco Scandella, mm-hmm. uh, a defenseman the Avs are very familiar with. He played for Minnesota for a handful of years, and Nathan McKinnon has destroyed him more than a few times, so... Honestly, not too worried about that one. (laughs) All right. Well, be sure to catch all of our content on the DNVR.com, of course, and head over to the Blake Street Tavern on Saturday and come hang out with us, drink some Breck brews, and watch the Avs hopefully beat the LA Kings.